It's Nui Chung Chow. Welcome to another video. <coughs> Hi, it's Nui Chung Chow, and today we are at the beach. Vi ad i fiara. If we're talking about a beach full of stones and rocks such as this one, we say ai fiara. If it's a sandy beach, we call it ai stram. Today we're just gonna go around, look at some things, learn some words, have fun. <laughs> okay, let's go. Whoa, look at this. It's winter, so it's hard to find like real animals and stuff. A rock would be an stein. A little rock is an liten stein. Den steinen är er liten. Den steinen är er stor. This rock is small. This rock is big. Okay? Ooh, I know what we can do. We can talk about like bigger or smaller. Okay, so this is how you say bigger or smaller in Norwegian. So, we have liten, small, mindre, smaller, and minst, smallest. Liten, mindre, minst. Denne steinen er liten. Denne steinen er mindre. This rock is small. This rock is smaller. Denne steinen er minst. This rock is smallest. Denne steinen er liten. Denne steinen er liten. Denne steinen er mindre. Denne steinen er mindre. Denne steinen er minst. Denne steinen er minst. Stor. Større. Størst. Denne steinen er stor. Denne steinen er større. This rock is big. This rock is bigger. Okay. Denne steinen er størst. This rock is biggest. Denne steinen er stor. Denne steinen er stor. Denne steinen er Större. Denna stein är er större. Denna stein är er störst. Denna stein är er störst. Cold. In English, you would say like this rock is the biggest. In Norwegian, you can totally say den steinen er den største, but you can also say den steinen er størst. Just this rock is biggest. This thing right here is called tang, and as you can tell, like it has these little pockets of air, and this is actually what causes it to float in the water. And there's lots of tang over here. As you can tell, it's very frozen right now because it's the winter. The ocean is hob, and ocean is hob. If you want to say sea, you say sjø. The sea would be sjøen. Bølger, waves. Vann, water. Actually, when I was a kid, we used to flip the stones, and then these little weird little insect-like water animals would pop up. <laughs> And I'm not sure if they still do like in the winter, but I guess. So we'll try to flip some rocks and see. Oh, there it is! Ah! Look at them! Oh, they're kind of nasty! 
what we would call this is like, I have no idea what these are called. Because I couldn't remember the name of this peculiar animal, I dug deep into my computer's folders and found a science report I wrote many years ago when I was still in middle school. I remember we had to go to Fiara for a field day once and write this extensive report on everything we found there. Sure enough, there it was, and apparently the little animal is called Tangloppe. Probably because it lives among lots of Tang. I can't believe I still have lots of schoolwork from years ago, but this report was actually very helpful. I have left a downloadable PDF of my report in the description box if you want to read more about Fiara in Norwegian. It's very easy to understand, but has lots of new vocab with pictures and explanations. Mystery solved! Nope. So this uh, little clam is called et shell. Like I guess you could say a shell, but yeah, basically a clam would be et shell. Et mellom stort snailhus, a middle big snail house. I know it's weird, but mellomstort is literally translated middle big. And it just means that it's like not very big and not very small. It's just like in the middle. So this right here, dette er et mellomstort sneilehus. Okay, I am freezing, so it's time to go inside. But we had a lot of fun and I hope you learned something. Bye!